Good afternoon, everybody. January 29th, 2019. Big money earning season update. Join us to make the big money in earning season. Live trading room, you know, we're going to give you that opportunity. Today, 11% of the companies in the S&P 500 have reported actual results for Q4 2018. In terms of earnings, more companies are reporting actual EPS above estimates, 76%, compared to the five-year average. In aggregate, companies are reporting earnings that are 3.2% above the estimates, which is below the five-year average in terms of sales. Fewer companies, 56%, are reporting actual sales above estimates to compare to the five-year average in aggregate. Companies are reporting sales that are equal to estimates, which is below the five-year average at freeoptiontrader.com. The blended combines actual results for companies that have reported an estimated result for companies that have yet to report. Year-over-year -year earnings growth rate for the first quarter is 10.6% today, which is slightly above the earnings growth rate of 10.5%. Last week, positive earnings surprise reported companies in the financial sector were mainly responsible for the small increase in the earnings growth rate during the week. And we had a lot of financials, Morgan Stanley, J.P. Morgan, Goldman Sachs, Bank of America, Wells Fargo. If 10% is the actual growth rate for the quarter, it will mark the first time the index has not reported earnings growth above 20% since Q4 of 2017. There it is right there. However... It will also mark the fifth straight quarter of double-digit earnings growth. Ten of the 11 sectors are reporting or are predicted to report year-over-year -year earnings uh, growth. Six sectors are reporting or are expected to report double-digit earnings growth led by energy, industrials, and communications and service sectors. The blended year-over-year -year revenue growth rate for the fourth quarter is 6.0% today, which is slightly above revenue consensus uh, rate of 5.8% last week. Upward revisions to revenue uh, estimates for companies in the healthcare. So we already went over that. And uh, so that's what's helped that growth rate during the week. 10 of 11 sectors, once again, I have to say it. Um, year over year growth. Two sectors are reporting and, and or are predicted to report double digit growth in revenues. So communication services and real estate. Looking at future quarters, analysts see low or single dig digit earnings growth for the first three quarters of 2019. The forward 12-month P.E. ratio is 15.3, which is below the five-year average, but above the 10-year average, and it is. And we had called for a slowdown. We didn't call for a catastrophe, but uh, Netflix got really torn apart when they reported and whatnot. And go ahead, earnings season is kicking off on Tuesday and it's going to run through the end of the month, and it's going to run through February. Sign up for your free five-day trial today. Join us at 702-685-0772. Make the big money in earnings season. Live trading room. We give you the entry and the exits using our options trading returns, 100% gainers and higher. So, you have to make a lot of money, but you have to be in that name, whether you're buying calls to go higher or puts to go lower when they don't report well. 